Then what you want to do is you want to start Ethereal. Ethereal packet is a packet uh, analyzer. You want to what you want to do is go up to cap capture options and set set it again to the same uh, device that you're using for your i for your internet. So if you're using Ethernet, you know wireless card, whatever. Then you want to do uh, update list of packets in real time and automatic scrolling and live capture. Then you want to click start. Um, then this will come up, and this doesn't really matter because it's going to display all the packets that it receives up here. Well, maybe not. Um, it will. I, I'm going to restart it really fast because I was using it a really long time ago. I don't even remember when I started out. So, Ethereal, it'll come up like this, usually. Um, options, uh, my wireless card needs to start it. Ah, now here it is. This is displaying every single packet that it's sending back and forth. Um, the ARP ones are telling my computer 10, 10 10.0.0.14 everything, all the updates and everything. It's trying to figure out who the router is, but it doesn't know. So it's just going to continue to play that one. Um, they want to, like, I'm going to do an example. Uh, MSN MS right here, that's MSN Messenger. Okay, what I want to do is I want to filter out every single one that it has to do with MSN Messenger. Then I press enter and it filtered out all of these. These three. I mean, uh, not three, but these few. Um, and then I have a connection going with my girlfriend and I'm going to, um, type something to her. Uh, this is just an example. Um, then right here, uh, it it'll this is the one for MSN Messenger, and I know that, but there's lots of them. Um, it'll say hey, that's what I typed to it. And then over here's the hash code if you're interested in that. Um, then when they send you something back, which I can't do because she's not home, I don't know her password. Um, is it, it'll show up another one of these. And it'll um, come up down here, and then you can read it again. If they do downloading files, it'll intercept each and every single packet from that, and you won't be able to get the same. You won't be able to download the file, but you don't really need to do that, so it's okay. Um, I can try to show you what it looks like when someone does an HTTP uh, password. Uh, HTTP passwords are usually like normally just Username, pass it, the username and password usually don't matter, but it's usually the URL. So it's like if they sign in, if they like signed into a form or something, then it show you the u username and password, but it wouldn't be in the URL. But usually, it just shows you what websites they're looking at. Um. So I'm gonna go over to here onto this other computer, and let's say they're really going to a forum. Tsvizo.com. Um. Then we're going to sign in once it's blue. This computer is extremely slow and old. It's got like a billion viruses on it, so bear with me for just a second. Okay, I gotta go somewhere. Um, okay. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not because this computer just completely sucks. It's horrid. That's why I got a new one. Eh. Okay. I'll give it one more shot, but I don't think it's going to work because this computer. Uh. Okay. Um. Uh, other things that Kane can do is if you know how to do so, you can get like VPN passwords and you can decrypt them or you could. Um, you can see all the wireless things. You can see all the wireless routers. Well, for me, wireless routers in range right now, which basically would be my uh, Netgear router. Then the other thing that you can do is like a trace route. 
or stuff like that. Um, but the main purposes for Kane is the ARP poisoning and uh, the password. That's basically all you'll ever use it for. I've not found another reason to use it besides uh, hash, hash cracking and stuff like that. But it's still pretty good programming for that. If you're running Linux, then Eater Cap. It's better than Kane. It is. Um, and if you got Linux, then or if you got like a back, if you got Backtrack Four, it's great. It works great. Um, then that's about all I have to show you guys for this. Um, I will see you next video I make.